Hey guys, this is Papa J. I am so bored. Like so crazy bored. But I do have a couple of things for you guys. One of them is um I've heard that I read an article actually about people who go to space on like a shuttlecraft in mass. Like they all just hop on the shuttlecraft and just go. Right? And they go up to space. And dude, man, they're paying like $250,000 to do it. Who really wants to go to space? What's so special about space? You know? It's a bunch of nothing. You know, I, I can think, I think it's kind of cool. You know? But I wouldn't pay $250,000 to go to space. I mean, it's not like I'm landing on the moon. Right? I'm not in that void of nothing that everybody thinks is so cool. But no! No, we're just going to space, going to nothingness. It's called space for a reason, because it's space, empty space. No stuff, you know? I'm sorry, I, I'm kind of, like, a ridiculous that way. I like stuff, you know? And you know what? I've heard that you don't, like, when you break out, you can't even really, like, see out the window. I mean, how depressing would that be? Spend two hundred fifty dollars to get into space, and you can't see anything. You just like, oh yeah, I'm in space. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Not really. Anyway, so there's my little rant about why would people want to go to space. You know, if you guys have any comments on why people would want to go to space for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, let me know, cause. I'm kind of confused. I'd rather go to, like, New York. I've been before, but I want to go again. Because there's stuff, right? There's stuff to experience. There's stuff that's there, right? Like, amazing culture. There's no culture in space. None. No interesting people. You know, I'm just a fan of human interaction. I don't do things for the sake of doing them. I do things for the sake of meeting people while I do it. Yeah, that sounds right. You know? Like, I don't go to New York to say I've been to New York. I go to New York to experience New York, you know? I talk to people who are there, and most of them were quite rude. Lots of them were rude. Like, my friend, um, she was with us in New York, and we were there on a band trip. And... She was standing in the middle of a totally empty sidewalk, which is hard to believe because it's New York. So it was as empty as a New York sidewalk gets. And this old lady comes hobbling up to her on her wheelchair, just like, do-dunk, 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 or not wheelchair, walker. Just like, you know, and, you know, all, all the respect for old people, but she comes up to her, and Tansy's, like, she's not even looking. She's just, like, got her head, like, looking up at the Jumbotron and all the cool lights and stuff. And there's this whole huge open sidewalk. She could totally walk around, but she doesn't. She walks right up to her and starts cussing her out, just like, Bloop, 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 you get out of my bloop, way, bloop, 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 how could you be such an ignorant, bloop, 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 bloop. And I was like, woman, jeez, who, what, yeah, I wasn't actually there, but I heard about it. And my friend Matt, this dude just jammed his hand into his pocket trying to pickpocket him. Luckily, all his money was in his other pocket. But they, like, just got off the escalator, bumped into him, and Matt was like, that guy just, like, groped his hand into my pocket. We were all like, what? But he was gone, so it didn't matter. That was an interesting experience. I'll have to tell you guys about that sometime. Anywho, so if you guys have any comments, let me know, because I'm at a loss as to why people would want to go to space. Rather than, like, for $250,000, for $250,000, you could, like, go on, like, a world tour, you know? That'd be so cool. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, guys, this is Papa J. So, I've got the magic fever. It's kind of sad, but me and my little brother and Chris, and everyone else who has magic cards, I'm calling out up to you that I wish to play, and trade, and buy, and waste away my life playing this game, because it is very fun. 
I won the last game, but, you know, Sam's never used his deck before, so he's probably got a couple of things he's going to change real fast, and we're going to play again. All right, peace out, guys. Hi, guys, it's Papa J. I gotta be kind of quiet, because technically it is 10 minutes until Thursday, so my family's all still asleep, but, you know. Um, so I just thought I should sign out and let you know how my day went. I went to jazz choir practice, which went really well. And uh, I went to go over to my friend Christopher's house, who you've met, and had an awesome time watching that movie, That Thing You Do. And uh, tomorrow I've got band practice with said Christopher Penny and Dallin Pilling, Jacob Strabble, and Jordan Rasmussen. You'll get to meet all of those guys. And um, let's see. Uh, we might be going into Lethbridge to Valley Village tomorrow. I just don't know. It just might be getting crazy. And, uh, yeah. Everybody, um, wish my girlfriend Faith a good day tomorrow. She's got a 10 hour work day. And, uh, I hope she does okay. Um, alright. See you later, guys. This has been another day with Papa Jay. Signing out.